I lived here uh, 17 years. An invisible threat. Could be harmful to everyone in this street. Has lived in this Grand Prairie neighborhood for as long. I know a lot of people. As Melissa Mraz. The resident stuff. Can remember. And you never know. Standing in front of the culprit just a few blocks away. We feel like it's not safe because there hasn't been any movement. From the 50s to the late 90s, a U.S. defense contractor known as the Del Fasco Forge used to work out of this building, helping make practice bombs for the Navy and Air Force. They used trichloroethylene to clean their machines, which over time seeped into the soil. In the 2000s, the EPA found this groundwater plume containing the toxic chemical underneath roughly 80 homes. That's a problem because trichloroethylene can cause cancer, damage vital organs like the kidneys and liver. It can even cause birth defects. The EPA believes tap water isn't impacted unless it comes from a well. But we don't feel safe with the water, drinking the water here. Mraz says she still doesn't take the risk. What the EPA is concerned about, vapor intrusion, the groundwater containing the trichloroethylene evaporating and entering people's homes. Why hasn't it been addressed more rapidly? The answer, it takes time. The Del Fasco Forge finally declared a federal Superfund site for cleanup in 2018. Last month, an EPA plan of attack finally approved. And it is uh, a chance that that might be used as a site-wide remedy. All of our residents In a meeting Thursday, the EPA explaining to residents it would use a liquid to filter and purify the groundwater or vacuum the soil. And yeah, that's a thing. The soil does stay in place, but it is uh, sucking out all of the vapors. The good news, solutions start soon. But residents here agree they wish it all happened much sooner. In Grand Prairie, I'm Matt Howerton.